WJZ was the first to tell you about a number of attacks on unsuspecting people being carried out by groups of teens in the city. Now police in the community are saying enough is enough. WJZ is live in Federal Hill where a number of these crimes have occurred in the, as many days. George Solis has the plan of action. George. Good evening, Vic. Fired up residents from here in South Baltimore taking to the streets alongside with Baltimore City Police to not only show that they're keeping a watchful eye, but to also show that they will not stand for the crime that's been infiltrating their neighborhoods. City Police announcing a new initiative to put a stop to the recent brutal attacks at the hands of out of control teenagers. Adults and even other children attacked mercilessly. I'm pissed because I just don't understand. Attacks by teens have been reported in North Baltimore, downtown, and in South Baltimore around Federal Hill. And when we have juveniles walking around the city with a one baseball bat or a two by four and hitting an innocent woman, that's a problem. Monday night, residents, police, and city leaders discussing and literally moving forward, revealing the plan to put an end to a crime spree that's included several robberies. All of it taking place during a public safety walk that drew in hundreds of concerned citizens. During this walk, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis announcing the launching of a special police decoy unit to address the growing juvenile crime threat in this portion of the city. And I'm convinced that these juvenile offenders travel in packs. I'm convinced that they look for people who appear vulnerable to them. And then I'm also convinced that they approach them because they think they can get away with it. The public hopeful that will no longer be the case. We are angry and we don't want to have this happen. Police also dropping this staggering figure. The last 10 juveniles arrested have a combined 63 arrests between them. There was an audible gasp when he said that number, right? I mean, everybody was really shocked at that. Commissioner calling for more accountability at home, school, and in the courtroom. We cannot look at juveniles committing violent crimes as mischievous behavior, okay? It's not mischievous behavior. It's a violent crime and people are getting hurt. Now, it's important to note that police say that they have closed some cases, made some arrests uh, in these cases, rather, closing four of the seven cases that occurred in the region since Halloween. The commissioner also noting that they have doubled units in the region. Live in Federal Hill tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. The public safety walk is something the Riverside community does monthly, and they say it has proven successful in the past.